Hello, Lee Poppy here. So uh, today I wanted to do kind of a combination, a combination of an unfolding episode and book club. And the reason for that is, oh, so much has been going through my mind. I'm like talking to you all the time. <laughs> and so making notes and stickies and notes on my phone about things that I wanna share, things that I have gone through that I think would help you. Um, you know, as we navigate this world, this life, this existence, we um, have challenges and we have obstacles to overcome. And with sometimes just a little insight from someone, it can help ease that process because we all have emotional pain, we all have stresses, we all have challenges that we're dealing with. But if you have a tool or even sometimes just an encouraging word from someone, uh, that can really make a world of difference. I know I have had the great uh, blessings in my life to have extraordinary people and messengers and friends and support systems to help me along my journey and has brought me to where I am today and will continue. And I hope that my intention is that these, uh, these series, these um, YouTubes will assist you on your journey in some small way. So let's get started. Earlier this year in 2018, um, I had kind of a lot of things happening at one time. I was smack in the middle of menopause. I was uh, dealing with some other health related issues that I just couldn't get a handle on. They seemed to be separate, yet I knew that there was a common denominator thread in there somewhere. And um, on top of that, I was going through a breakup. I'll use that term for you all so that you understand what I mean, because sometimes I say a transition, but I also use transition when I'm talking about those who have died, again, air quotes. Um, so transitioning into another realm. And what I'm talking about is transitioning a relationship from an intimate, um, uh, boyfriend girlfriend relationship into one that is a beautiful friendship and so I was going through that which brought a lot of emotion um, you know dealing with financial issues uh, coming from a two partner household moving into a one partner household um, being a single mom trying to navigate all of that still building my business still um, doing marketing and developing a fairly uh, young aspect of my business. Although I've been doing this for many, many years, uh, there's this aspect of my business that was still fairly young. I had uh, launched a program, not really a program, a marketing effort that uh, took a lot of financial backing and it was in a realm that I was very unfamiliar with, and so I felt um, unsure of myself, felt unempowered. I didn't have the, uh, the backup, the threshold of, of knowledge that would have helped me through that process, so I felt unstable. So, okay, we have a major <laughs> example of, um, of a hurricane happening, an emotional hurricane, tornado, whatever you want to say, and it was all coming down at one time. Um, brought me to my knees, truly did, and um, I recall it literally in the bathroom, sobbing, um, needing answers, needing guidance, and pulling on every aspect of what I had come to know and teach up to this point. I needed to get back to the basics. And, and so I did. And with that, I started to receive uh, beautiful guidance. Uh, one extraordinary thing that happened immediately was I could hear the calling of um, the morning doves outside. And I dried my tears. I went out to my, I live in a two story that has a a patio, a deck off of uh, the bedroom. So I walked out there to see these beautiful morning doves in the fig tree. And it wasn't just one or two because they typically come in pairs, but I believe that there were four pairs. So a total of eight um, incredible morning doves. 
They are one of my favorite birds. They hold a very special significance for me because that's my connection with my mom. My mom has transitioned from physical form to spirit um, some years ago. So it was, it was a, a messenger. It was a hug from my mom and mm, I could still feel it. So it made me feel like there's support. There was support here for me. With that being said, I had begun um, this beautiful communication with a, a very wise coach, a friend that had been introduced to me some years prior that we really hadn't connected um, too deeply. But at that time, we began to connect again. I was reaching out. I was asking the universe, God, spirit, the divine to support me in this space and time. And this particular beautiful being um, presented and he was just, he really helped me bridge this time of needing to go within a little deeper. So where hadn't I uh, shown the light? And he sent me this book. Self-Observation by Red Hawk. And I'm a big reader. I like the physical book. Um, if you would look at any of my uh, bookshelves from many years ago to now, 99% of them are about spirituality, about self-development, about knowing thyself, about um, consciousness, spirituality, uh, that I came in with this. I came in with this desire to know more, to shine the light on what uh, is unknown. And each step of the way, <laughs> the more that I think I know, the more I realize I know nothing. And I keep, you know, leveling up, but that new level is so expansive. So we take this journey together and I want to encourage you about this book because what it did for me was um, a phenomenal shift. I took a little notebook from the 99 cent store and I started journaling and uh, looking at the self-observation, looking at the patterns that I hadn't quite delved into previously. And it was because it wasn't time. You know, each step of the way, there's, an, there's a new awakening, a new awareness of what it is that you need to look at at that time. Have you ever had a book that you've had for years and years and years, didn't even realize that you had it, and then for some reason you picked it up and it was the right book, the right message at the right time? Well, um, it's the same for whatever it is that you're going through. You are at the space and time to delve into that mystery that you are uncovering of yourself. And so all those, the, although these times can be so challenging and um, really debilitating at times, they are also phenomenal. It is the unfolding of you. And that unfolding is phenomenal. It opens doors, it opens windows to your soul and the journey and the purpose of what you're doing here. And so it is so delicious, even as painful as it can be, when we can step outside ourselves and be that observer and navigate it from that perspective, the pain seems, seems to be less. And that's why being the mindful uh, practitioner here, awareness of your thoughts and your actions in the world around you with non-judgment is so key when you're navigating uh, this journey. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to read you some of this in the kind of um, book club scenario. And um, instead of you watching me read to you, <laughs> I'm going to uh, hopefully be able to lay on some beautiful uh, image while uh, you are uh, listening to this incredible book. <laughs> 